an absolutely lovely start to our Thursday here in Starkville across the campus of Mississippi State University. Nothing but clear skies in sight. And just gorgeous fall colors on those trees outside as well right now. Just a beautiful day. And it is absolutely well, not absolutely. It's pretty cold outside, but it will be absolutely cold tomorrow morning. It's 47 degrees right now here in Starkville. We started this morning about 25 degrees cooler than we started yesterday morning before that cold front passed through. So we've definitely seen the effects of it. And those winds are out of the north-northwest at 13 miles an hour. So it's a little brisk outside. And we're seeing that all across the southeast, everywhere from Memphis at 47 on down to New Orleans at 54, 53 in Destin as well. And our cool spot right now is Fort Smith, Arkansas at 45 degrees. So the whole southeast, no one is spared right now from these cooler temperatures. And that's this cold front that we saw yesterday push through. And it's actually right about here, just past Atlanta. That's why Atlanta is already seeing those cooler temperatures as well. And all the rain showers are well off to the east. We only saw some brief showers here in Starkville. Didn't really get much beneficial rain. And they're actually still seeing some down in New Orleans as well. But that's all pushing off to the east. And we're going to start seeing some clearing. We still have some high cirrus outside right now. But that's all going to also move off. And we're going to be left with nothing but clear skies on into the rest of this evening and into tomorrow as well. Saturday morning, we're still going to be seeing clear skies here in Startful. So through Friday night for Bulldog Bash and Saturday for a football game here against Alabama, you don't have to worry about having a rain jacket with you at all. Today, 58 degrees with those winds out of the north-northwest at 5 miles an hour really going to be ushering in some cooler temperatures that are going to definitely affect us tonight when we have these cool, clear skies uh, tonight, and we're going to be under a freeze warning. We're going to be dropping just below that 32-degree 30, mark, and so we're going to have the opportunity to see some freeze across the entire area. So you need to bring any fragile plants you have outside, any pets you may have outside. You also need to bring those in because this is definitely going to affect us from about midnight to 8 a.m. is what time we have the freeze warning for, and those winds are going to continue out of the northwest at 5 miles an hour. Tomorrow, we are going to start Warming up just a little bit more than we did today with those sunny skies, it's going to allow us to see some warmer temperatures. So we're going to warm back up to about 64 degrees. It's still a little bit cooler than where we should be this time of year, but you do see something especially important here. Those winds have changed from the northwest to the south-southwest at 5 to 10, and that's going to start us in on a warming trend through the rest of the weekend. So Friday, Veterans Day, a little bit cooler than we would be, but clear skies. Saturday for our home football game against Alabama, Gorgeous day for tailgating and for the game. We're going to see 68 degrees in the afternoon. By kickoff, we should be in the mid-50s. And that night, we're going to drop back down into the low 50s. By Monday, we might see another chance of rain. But Tuesday's where we're really going to see those rain chances come in in advance of a cold front. Thank you for joining me for Campus Connect. I'm meteorologist Stephanie Goldsmith.